question number 7a construct minimum cost spanning tree using krushkal's algorithm for the following graph it is a 10 mark question so for this given graph we need to find the minimum spanning tree using krushkal's algorithm so what do you mean by minimum spanning tree that is a spanning tree with the minimum cost for this given graph we need to find a spanning tree with minimum cost that is minimum weight okay so this minimum spanning tree we can able to implement using two algorithm one is Kruskal's algorithm another one is Prim's algorithm okay so here we are going to implement minimum spanning tree using Kruskal's algorithm so the steps to implement for Kruskal's algorithm is first step is short the edges in ascending order so for the given graph the edges we need to consider with weights and according to its weights we need to short the edges in ascending order okay starting from the smallest weight to the largest weight you need to arrange the edges in ascending order that is the first step next create a disjoint set data structure disjoint in the sense for example if this is a b no connection there is no connection you have to create a disjoint set of data structure initially with each vertex belonging to its own separate set okay likewise we need to create we should not include the edges only the vertices you have to include next step is process the edges that is the first step edges we have arranged in ascending order of weights second step is create the disjoint set of data structure then process the edges one by one starting with the edge of least weight already they have arranged in ascending order so consider the first edge with its weight that will be the least one okay so consider that first edge with weight check whether the inclusion of that current edge forms a cycle if you are including this edge with weight 2 in the sense if you are including this one if it forms a cycle in the sense you should not include this edge okay exclude the current edge consider the next edge in the ascending order of weights so every step we need to consider the edges one by one in this ascending order of weights check whether the inclusion of that particular edge forms a cycle or not if it forms a cycle in the sense exclude that edge don't consider that edge and consider the next edge again the same procedure for the next edge check whether the inclusion of that particular edge forms a cycle so this procedure continues the step 3 and step 4 will continue for all the sorted edges in ascending order of weights okay and finally you will get a minimum spanning tree with v minus 1 edges and that will be the minimum cost of spanning so these are all the steps we need to implement for krushkal's algorithm okay now for this given graph we are going to implement krushkal's algorithm so for that first we need to consider the tree edge okay three edges and then shorted list of edge okay first step is we need to sort the edges in ascending order of weights okay so sorted list of edges we need to consider and then the illustration we need to consider so initially there won't be any tree edge okay and the shorter list of edges for this given graph if you are considering in the sense first least weight edges bc with 1 so include this bc with 1 next if you are considering any 2 is there yes 2 is there ef with 2 okay and then no other 2 okay and 3 ab with 3 okay then 4 there are two edges bf and cf okay so bf with 4 and cf with 4 okay alphabetical order which comes first whenever a tie is there alphabetical order which comes first that you have to include first that edge you have to include first okay so bf and cf it is over next weight with 5 if you are considering it is af and df so af with weight 5 and df with weight 5 now this is over 6 weight with 6 if you are considering it is cd and ae so ae comes first so ae with the 6 and then cd with 6 next it is de with 8 so first step is over that is we have shorted the edges in ascending order of weights okay next step is we need to create a disjoint set of data structure so for this given graph we need to create a disjoint set meaning us see here only we have to consider the 
what is this? Don't consider the Hs. Okay. So, it is E, F and then D here. Okay. So, this is disjoint set of data structure. Okay. Next step. Consider the first H. B, C with weight 1. Okay. So, B, C with weight 1 you are considering and the remaining everything you have to write as it is. Okay. C, F with 2. A, B with 3. So, next illustration if you are considering here in the sense the weight B, C with 1 you have to include. So, A, B, C, F, E and then D. Okay. And for this illustration you have to include only the edge 1. This is the first edge. So, if you are including this edge obviously you don't form any cycle. Okay. So, here we have included. Next step if you are considering the next edge we need to consider. That is edge EF. So, if you are including this edge, whether it forms a cycle? No, it won't form a cycle. So, we can include this edge. So, next step EF with weight 2. The same procedure you need to consider. And the illustration if you are considering in the sense it is A, B, C, F, E and D. Right? Already we have included edge BC with weight 1. Okay. Now we are going to include edge EF with weight 2. If you are including this edge, it won't form any cycle. So we can include this edge. And as it is, you write down here. Next step if you are considering in the sense, we have to consider the edge AB with weight 3. So AB with weight 3, if you are including in the sense, check whether it forms a cycle. No, if you are including this edge, it won't form any cycle. So, we can include that edge. So, next step, consider weight AB with weight 3. And as it is, the shorter list of edges you need to write down. Okay, now if you are considering the illustration. So, already edge BC with weight 1 is there and EF with weight 2 is there. Now, you are going to include edge AB with weight 3. You, inclusion of this edge does not form any cycle. So, we can include this edge. Next, if you are considering, next edge is BF with 4. So, here in the shorter list of edges, 1 by 1, 1 by 1, the edges with its weight you need to consider. Check whether the inclusion of this particular edge forms a cycle or not. If it does not form any cycle, you can include that edge. Okay. So, next step is you need to include edge BF with weight 4. So, BF with weight 4. If you are including in the sense, whether it forms a cycle, no, you don't form any cycle. In the next step, we can include this edge BF. Okay. So, now we will include the edge BF with weight 4. Okay. And the graph, if you are considering in the sense, already edge BC is there. Then EF with weight 2 is there. AB with weight 3 is there. Now, you can include BF with weight 4. BF with weight 4, if you are including, it does not form any cycle. So, we can include that edge. Next step, if you are considering in the sense, edge CF with weight 4. So, edge CF with weight 4, if you are including in the sense, it forms a cycle. See here, if you are including this edge in the sense, it forms a cycle, right? So, we should not consider this edge. We have to exclude this edge. Next step, we need to consider edge EF with weight 5. So, edge EF with weight 5, if you are including, this also forms a cycle. See here, edge EF with weight 5, if you are including in this, this forms a cycle. So, you should exclude this edge also. Next, edge BF with weight 5, if you are including in this, it won't form any cycle. So, next step, Edge BF with weight 5 you can include and the graph will be A. Already we have included edges BC with weight 1, EF with weight 2, AB with weight 3, BF with weight 4 and DF with weight 5 you can include now. If you are including this edge, this does not form any cycle. So, we can include this edge and this will be as it is. Okay. So, next step if you are considering edge AE with the 6, if you are including, this forms a cycle. CD with the 6, if you are including, this forms a cycle here. DE with weight 8, if you are including, this forms a cycle. So, we should not consider the remaining 3 edges in the next step. 
now if we are considering we got a spanning tree so what do you mean by spanning tree spanning tree is nothing but a tree with vertices and edges and it should not form any cycle it should connect all the vertices edges should connect all the vertices but it should not form any cycle okay that is spanning tree what is minimum spanning tree spanning tree with a minimum cost okay so here the minimum spanning tree if you are considering in the sense you have to consider all the weights okay so the cost of minimum spanning tree if you are considering in the sense this is edge a first edges bc we have included right so bc with weight 1 and then ef with weight 2 and then ab with weight 3 and then bf with weight 4 and then df with weight 5 okay so what is the total cost you will get at it is 15 so the cost of minimum spanning tree is 15 so this is nothing but minimum spanning tree using Krishkal's algorithm so very simple procedure first we need to short the edges in ascending order okay then you have to create a disjoint data structure that is only vertices you need to consider initially don't consider the edges okay and in the shorted list one by one each edge you need to consider along with its weight check whether inclusion of this edge in the disjoint data structure whether it forms a cycle or not if it forms a cycle exclude that edge if it does not form a cycle include that edge this procedure continues for all the edges in the shorted list okay and finally you will get a spanning tree with minimum cost and if you are adding all the weights in the sense you will get the minimum cost of the spanning tree. so this is the procedure to find a minimum cost spanning tree using krishkal's algorithm thank you for watching this video